let's make some rice pudding <laughs> did you say rice pudding yes, yeah so rice pudding or uh, paisam as it is called in in india and uh, kheer yeah we also call like the kheer paisam rice pudding and uh, it's so most of the time like when you make rice pudding you're using like white rice and lot of uh, uh, cow's milk instead you could make rice pudding or the paisam with healthier ingredients so without mm. using milk without using dairy milk let us see like how we can make this rice pudding or paisam so here instead of milk like we are using plant based milk it can be soy milk almond milk coconut milk like the i mean the, the choices you have many choices yes, but yeah. we, we typically use uh, soy milk soy like the milk. unsweetened so soy milk so here uh we have like 4 cups of unsweetened soy milk so i'm just pouring it so we already turned on the stove stove so we're going to let it boil for about 3 4 minutes mm-hmm. right and then yeah so here we have taken like 4 cups of soy milk and then we are taking 2 uh, cups of cooked rice so here i'm actually taking cooked rice so that it becomes faster sometimes like when you have to cook rice pudding it takes a lot of time you can also uh have uncooked rice and add it to this one but here i am already using the cooked rice and so, we're using as you can see we actually mm-hmm. using brown rice yes right? yeah so here uh i'm just letting the milk heat for some time and some people are afraid thinking okay if i'm going to heat soy milk or almond milk is going to curdle but as you can see just like regular milk it is good like even like when you boil the soy milk or almond milk you need not be worried that it's going to curdle so here i'm letting the milk heat and to that uh, i'm adding this 2 cups of brown already cooked brown rice and i'm just uh let it boil so i'm going to put a lid so that it boils faster So as you can see it has thickened up to this we are adding 1 and 1/2 cup of date paste this is so just it, like uh dates and water blended uh we are using a date paste as a sweetener uh, instead of uh, using a lot of uh, sugar it smells so good like you know it has that caramel look Now, like I'm adding a little bit of cardamom powder. It's adding so much um, nice aroma and flavor to it. And I'm also adding the raisins. It's about an ounce of raisins. It's about um, 30 grams. Okay, now it's done. Cashews. Oh, your favorite yeah. <laughs> cashews! How can we forget that? So we're gonna add an ounce of cashews, about thirty grams of cashews. Mm-hmm. Gives that nice um, nutty, crunchy. Yeah, and yeah. I'm turning the stove off. So it's all done. It smells so. It looks so, so yummy. Like yeah. it, it looks like rich rice pudding. Mm-hmm. and that too i know like we only use date paste let us see like how does it taste whether it is sweet enough oh my god <laughs> it's so good <laughs> so Even no like, yeah no sugar no you, added sugar we just with the date paste mm-hmm. um so like we added like 1 and 1/2 cup of date paste and that's good as it is for us um like even the raisins they give a nice taste mm-hmm. and uh, even i can taste the cardamom yes and uh, and then the the added kick of cashews yes <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfect um, holiday party uh, mm-hmm. dessert uh, mm-hmm. i mean one thing that we 
mm-hmm. love for all uh, indian festivals is yeah. to make nice rice pudding and you know what sometimes uh, the taste can also be enhanced like when you just add that pinch of salt not too much like here a pinch means a pinch and that also like enhances just the uh, flavor but it's optional you don't have to add it but sometimes i find just adding that uh, pinch of salt it really brings out the flavors in the dish 